At the outbreak of the World War, few men would have seemed less likely to achieve eternal glory than George Guinemere. When he turned up at a French military recruiting station in August of 1914, he was all of 19 years old, but looked 15. Thin to the point of frailty, Guinemere had spent much of his childhood bedridden with illnesses, and once war began had been turned down four times by the French army before finally being accepted as an apprentice airplane mechanic. Determined to fly, the young recruit had charmed and pestered the pilot stationed at Pro Aerodrome for lessons, and on March 10th, Guinemere made his solo in a Moraine parasol. Assigned to a military flying school, he finally returned to the front on June 8th with a pair of Corporal Chevrons sewn on his sleeves and a posting to Escadrille MS No. 3 under the command of Captain Felix Bracard. Bracard was a capable leader and a man of great patience, but when Guinemere rode off two of the squadron's parasols in his first week of operational flying, both through clumsy landings, Ricard was tempted to ground the young pilot for good. Given a two-week probation, Guinemere had no more such mishaps and was soon performing regular reconnaissance work with his observer, Sergeant Gerder. On July 19th, the pair attacked an albatross two-seater over Soissons, and while Guinemere coolly held a course alongside the enemy plane, Gerder emptied a drum of ammunition from his Lewis gun into it. The German machine crashed in flames, and both the Frenchmen were awarded the Medaille Militaire for the feat. Although not a fighter squadron, the pilots were still shooting down the occasional German machine, and the reputation of Brocard's escadrille was growing. As a result, MS No. 3 was assigned a variety of special missions, many of which Guinemere volunteered for. On more than one occasion, he was to land behind the German lines under the cover of night, with the job of delivering a French spy to a deserted field. This was considered a very dangerous assignment, and the feat of simply landing and taking off again in the darkness would require a great deal of skill, concentration, and courage. At this early stage in his career, George Guinemere was already showing considerable amounts of these properties. <laughs> 